today we are going to discuss statistical quality control charts in this one we are going to discuss mean chart and range chart so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and please share it in your mobile phone and like the channel so to construct a x bar chart or mean chart or range chart we require the sample we require the samples so the first sample has five observations 42 65 75 78 and 87 these are the observations found the second sample has also five observations similarly third sample next 12 samples so how many samples we have we have the 12 samples each sample has five observations so you remember the point how many samples 12 how many each sample has how many observations 5 next we require the mean and range for the each sample so mean of the first sample means add these values you will get 347 average means 347 by 5 that is 69.4 you are going to get range how will you find the range highest value minus lowest value that is nothing but 87 minus 42 that is nothing but 45 similarly for the second sample find the mean and range mean is 63.4 and range is 48 similarly for the third sample 57 and 62 so and the remaining samples you have to find out like this after this one you have to find summation of the mean summation of the ranges and the some constant values we required what are that constant values means x bar chart constant is a to a3 r bar chart constant is d3 d4 we have to find out the x bar chart constants and r chart constants how many samples we have tall samples how each sample has how many observations 5 therefore for 5 we have to find out a2 a2 is 0.577 remember the Uh, value d3 0 d4 is 2.114 we are not looking for the 12 we are looking for the 5 means each sample has how many observations 5 therefore for 5 we are finding a2 d3 d4 values so for n is equal to 5 i am writing here a2 value d3 value and d4 value similarly sigma x bar summation of the means 859.2 summation of the ranges is 716 okay i am writing here x double bar is the formula sigma x bar by n sigma x bar is summation of the means 859.2 by number of samples is 12 therefore 71.6 we are going to get similarly r bar is nothing but summation of the range by number of samples 59.67 you are going to get now we have to find out x bar chart values control line for x bar chart control line is x double bar x double bar is 71.6 already we did the value upper control line formula is x double bar plus a2 r bar x double bar means 71.6 a2 0.58 constant r bar 59.67 just to substitute in this one simplify you are going to get 106.9 similarly lower control line means x double bar minus a to r bar upper control line is x double bar plus a to r bar lower control line is x double bar minus a to r bar therefore lower control line value is 36.99 similarly range chart <coughs> range chart control line r bar R bar value is 59.67, 59.67. Upper control line is D4 R bar formula. D4 is 2.11, 2.11 into R bar 59.67. So we are going to get 125.9904. Similarly, lower control line, lower control line is D3 R bar. D3 is zero. Therefore, zero into something is zero. Therefore, for range chart, control line is 59.67. 
अपर कंट्रोल लाइन 125 पॉइंट समथिंग D3 लोअर कंट्रोल लाइन 0 फॉर दिस एक्स बार चार्ट एंड रेंज चार्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रा ए डायग्राम्स सो दीज आर द रॉ डाटा एक्स बार चार्ट कंट्रोल लाइन ऑलरेडी वी डिड दैट वन दैट इज 71.6 अपर कंट्रोल लाइन इज 106.9 Lower control line is 36.99. Therefore, we have to find out x versus y graph. On x axis, you place the sample points 1 to 12 samples. So, on y axis, what you have to take is the we are doing the x bar chart. Therefore, you consider the mean. Mean is nothing but this one. Mean values you have to place here. Okay. Next one, you draw a control line first 71.6. From here you have to draw a line, control line. Similarly, upper control line 106.91. 106 means somewhere here. Lower control line is 36.99. 36.99 means somewhere here. Now you place the remaining values. For one, what is the average? For one, it is 69.4. One, it is 69.4 means somewhere here. For two, it is 63.4. 63 2 it is 63.4 somewhere here for 3 it is 57 3 it is 57 somewhere here so you go on placing the values averages so if you look at these entire values all the values lies between upper control line and lower control line except the sample 8 and the sample 10 10 so uh, 8 sample has the value below the control lower control line 10 has the above the upper control line therefore these two samples 8 and 10 are out of process from this one we can conclude 8 and 10 samples are out of process similarly we can find R chart so he, here also the control line already we did 59.67 upper control line 125.90 lower control line is 0 on x axis you consider samples here you consider the range values not the mean here it is the range values on y axis so samples versus the range in x bar chart samples versus the mean so now you consider these values don't consider these values you have to consider the range values so control line 59.67 upper control line 125.904 lower control line is 0 itself now you place the for one it is 45 range 45 means somewhere here for two it is 48 for three it is 62 for four it is 48 like this all the values range values lies between upper control line and lower control line therefore the process is under control the process is all the points between upper control line and lower control line. therefore the process is under control this is the way to find out the x bar chart and range chart thank you